Today's morning thought is about pain versus discomfort. Um, so I was thinking about this in the context of uh, weightlifting. Surprise, surprise. Uh, and there's, you know, the stupid saying, no pain, no gain. It's like, it's actually kind of a bad saying because I think it leads people down a bad road and an incorrect assumption about what it takes to have growth. And with weightlifting, there is a difference between discomfort and pain between being sore and being hurt so it's normal to feel sore pretty much all the time <laughs> uh it's one of the things that you learn to embrace if you get into powerlifting and weightlifting is that you're sore pretty much all the time you know different ways different muscle groups but you're sore a lot um and that discomfort the pushing yourself to the boundary where you're at the limits of what you're capable of doing that makes you sore and makes you tired. It's really uncomfortable. That's where the growth happens. If it's easy to do, if your body can accommodate it, if it isn't hard for you, if you don't even get out of breath, if your muscles can take care of it without any stress or strain, then why would they change? Why would they grow? Your body's capable of doing whatever you threw at it. So you have to go to this limit, this boundary of weights and reps that pushes you to a point where your body can't do it without stress and adaptation. And that soreness is normal, that discomfort's normal, but pain isn't. Pain's not normal. So if you push yourself to the point where now you actually have pain or agony or an injury, now you've gone beyond adaptation and growth and you've hurt yourself and could take you out of the picture for a long time. And I've done that. I've pushed myself too hard. I've torn a muscle in my leg. You know, I broke a bone in my hand. I've done things that took it too far. I went past the limit and then I was unable to work out for weeks and sometimes had to change my program for months, many, many months. So that's not good. You don't want pain. You just want discomfort. You want something to push you into growth. And that's true for your personal development too. And that's true for your, for your professional development. I think about uh, public speaking. I've talked about this a lot that growing up, I was terrified of public speaking. I, I hated it. I avoided it as much as I could. And in the early years of my career, I did everything I could to kind of recede into the background, to not speak up in meetings, to not stand up and give presentations. I didn't speak at conferences. I think I'd, I don't know if I ever spoke at a conference. I'd done some panels and posters, but hadn't really done it. And I finally had to push myself at a point in my career where I knew it was holding me back into that point of incredible discomfort. I mean, it was horrible. I hate, I hated public speaking. I had to get up in front of a room and present. I had to do more public speaking at eBay. I had to do it at Yahoo. And it was so stressful. You know, I felt like I was going to have a heart attack um, getting up and speaking in front of people. But that discomfort pushed me to grow professionally, to experience personal development, where I pushed through it into the point where I got comfortable with it. Um, and I enjoy it now. I love public speaking, um, which is strange. It's kind of funny. But just as with weightlifting, I think in a professional setting, there can be discomfort that goes too far and becomes pain. So working in a toxic workplace where it's causing you emotional pain, that's not healthy. That's not going to help you grow. Working for a terrible boss who berates you and doesn't support you and tears you down and destroys your self-confidence, that's not going to create growth. It's going to hurt you. It's going to damage you. And it's going to take a long time to recover. 
Same thing with toxic coworkers, people who tear you apart or don't support you. You learn not to trust anyone uh, and it's not growth. Again, it's not growth. It's pain. It's emotional pain. It's mental pain, spiritual pain, whatever you want to call it. It's gone beyond growth and development into a place where it's destructive. So I think you have to look at what's going on around you as you're trying to grow professionally and personally and realize where you're too comfortable. It's too easy. You're not pushing yourself hard enough. You're not feeling sore. You're not feeling uh, stress and anxiety because you're not pushing yourself enough to reach growth. And do that. Find ways to get uncomfortable and become comfortable with being uncomfortable. But also examine places where it's not creating growth. It's just pain. And you have to do something about it. You may have to do something radical to change the environment, or you may have to quit your job and find a better job, a place where you can grow, a boss that can push you and encourage you and want the best for you, but help you develop professionally, help you further develop your strengths, whatever that might be. So that's my thought for today, is there is a big difference between pain and discomfort. And discomfort is good for growth. Pain, something you want to avoid.